In this lesson, the learners must be able to explain the first law of thermodynamics, explain enthalpy of a reaction, and calculate the change in enthalpy of a given reaction using Hess's law. Thermochemistry is the study of the heat energy which is associated with chemical reactions and or physical transformations. Ang mga chemical reactions ay maaaring una mag-absorb ng energy from the surroundings at ito ay tinatawag natin na endothermic process at mag-release ng energy in the form of heat to the surroundings at ito naman ay tinatawag na exothermic. Sa tandaan natin na ang pag-aaral ng energy or heat changes involved sa mga chemical reactions ay thermochemistry. It is involved with quantities of heat and work. Ang units ay joules um, which is the unit of energy. Kung natin ipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng energy changes in chemical reactions, identify muna natin ang matter involved in the reactions. System ang tawag sa part ng universe that is being studied and the rest of the universe that is uninvolved with the reaction is considered as the surrounding. Ang system natin na tinutukoy ay maaring sabihin na nakadepende sa observer at kung ano ang nais niyang pag-aralan. Halimbawa, nagiinit um, ka ng tubig sa pot, ang system ay maaring ang tubig or pwede rin namang ang system ay ang tubig at ang pot. Or, pwede rin namang ang tubig, pot, at ang stove. Ang system ay may tatlong types. Open systems na kayang mag-exchange ng matter at energy with the surrounding. Closed systems na nag lamang ng exchange of energy but not matter. And isolated systems naman ang tawag kapag parehong hindi transfer ang matter at energy. Ang example ng open system ay ang pagboboil ng soup in an open saucepan on a stove. Energy and matter are being transferred to the surroundings. Ang energy ay ang heat na nag-escape through the air at ang steam naman which is matter na nag-escape then through the air. Now kapag ka, uh, nilagyan mo ng lid o ng takip yung saucepan, uh, this makes the saucepan a closed system. Para naman sa example ng isolated system, um, makikita nyo ang insulated ring cooler at kung saan, dito sa example natin, no exchange or very little energy is exchanged with the outside surroundings. Now, alam na natin kung ano ang thermochemistry. Alam na rin natin ang endothermic at exothermic process. Nabanggit na rin natin ang, ma ang mga system. Punta na tayo ngayon sa first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states that heat is a form of energy and thermodynamic processes are therefore subject to the principle of conservation of energy. This means that Heat energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can, however, be transferred from one location to another and converted to and from other forms of energy. Madali lang maintindihan ang first law of thermodynamics. Ito ang example natin. Light bulbs transform electrical energy to light energy. Example, plants convert sunlight into chemical energy. The exact Internal energy of a system cannot be determined but the changes in um, the energy states can be determined and represented in chemical reactions by change in the internal energy of the system is equal to the final internal energy minus the initial internal energy where the initial internal energy is the internal energy of the reactants and the final internal energy is the internal energy of the products. Napakarami ng interactions na pwede mangyari kaya imposible na madetermine o malaman kung ilan ang exact internal energy values ng isang system. However, ang changes in energy can be calculated experimentally. If the change in internal energy of the system is positive, 
then the system has absorbed energy from the surroundings and the thermic. And if it is negative, then the system has released energy to the surroundings, exothermic. Since energy cannot be destroyed, the total energy of the universe is expressed as change in internal energy of the system plus the change in uh, internal energy of the surroundings is equal to zero. Na kung saan kapag may nawala o nadagdag na energy sa system, ito naman ay nadadagdag o nawala sa surroundings in the form of heat or other forms of energy. Hindi makukuha kung ilan ang exact energies ng reactants and products kaya ang first law of thermodynamics can be expressed as delta E is equal to Q plus W wherein delta E is the total change in energy, Q is the heat, W is the work exchange between the system and the surroundings. pag naman natin ngayon ang enthalpy. Ang mga chemical reactions na naganap sa ating paligid sa mga living organisms at sa laboratory are under conditions of constant pressure. The heat change in the system and surroundings at constant pressure is known as the change in enthalpy. Like the internal energy, exact values of enthalpy cannot be determined and instead, the enthalpy change between the products and reactants is calculated and is expressed as delta H of the system is equal to delta H final minus delta H initial. A positive delta H indicates that the system um, absorbed energy from the surrounding and undergone an endothermic process, while a negative delta H indicates that the system released energy to the surrounding and undergone an exothermic process. In chemical reactions, the change in enthalpy is determined by the difference between the sum of all the products, enthalpies, and the sum of all the reactant enthalpies. Ngayon naman ay paano magsulat at mag-interpret ng thermochemical equations. By the way, ang thermochemical equation ay ang balance chemical equation na nagre-represent ng enthalpic and mass relationship of the products and reactants. Anong mga gagawin when writing and interpreting thermochemical equations? We must remember the following. 1. The physical states of the reactants and products must always be specified because the enthalpy changes depend on it. 2. If the thermochemical equation is multiplied by a factor n, then enthalpy is multiplied by the same factor since enthalpy is an extensive property. 3. When we reverse an equation, we change the roles of the reactants and the products. The magnitude of the enthalpy remains the same, but the sign must be reversed to account for the change in the thermochemical equation. Ito ay aking ipapaliwanag sa inyo maya-maya. Alamin muna natin kung ano ang Hess's Law. For some reason, solving for the change in enthalpy or delta H directly is difficult because the reaction may involve complex and serious uh, processes. In these cases, the enthalpies of the individual processes or, st or steps are added together to determine the enthalpy of a complex reaction. Um, the law that allows this summation of reaction enthalpies is formulated by the Swiss-born Russian chemist Germain Henry Hess. The Hess's law of constant heat summation, or simply Hess's law, states that if a reaction is carried out in a series of steps, enthalpy change for the overall reaction equals the sum of the enthalpy changes for the individual steps. So the Hess's law allows for the breakdown of a reaction to certain steps as long as the same reaction is achieved after the summation of the individual reactions. Makikita nyo ang ating example ng uh, thermochemical equation. Sabi natin, ang thermochemical equation ay isang balance chemical equation na nagre-represent ng enthalpic and mass relationship of the products and reactants. So, makikita natin dito sa example natin ang reactants and products and these are also balance. Sabi natin kanina, when writing and interpreting thermochemical equations, meron tayong mga dapat tandaan. So, tingnan natin ang example. Ang una na dapat tandaan, ang physical states of the reactants and products must always be specified. So, specify dito kung ano ang physical states ng reactants and products. Ang sabi rin dun sa dapat nating tandaan na, 
kapag ka nag-multiply tayo by a factor n, then enthalpy is multiplied by the same factor since enthalpy is an extensive property. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kapag tayo ay nag-multiply by a factor of 2, then dapat yung um, change in enthalpy natin ay mumultiply din natin by 2. Sa so number 3 naman, when we reverse an equation, magbabago ang rows kung alin ang reactants. Ito naman yung magiging products. Yung, re yung products naman magiging reactants. So, yung magnitude ng enthalpy remains the same, pero kailangan nating palitan ang sign. Kung positive ang um, enthalpy, dapat ito ay maging negative. At kung negative naman, ito ay magiging positive. Simulan natin na computein ang, ang uh, enthalpy change. So, ito ay magagawa natin kapag kinuha natin ang sum of the enthalpy changes for the individual steps. Hanapin muna natin ang mga reactants and products na kapareho sa ating final um, reaction. Ang isa sa ating reactants sa final reaction ay N2O3. At ito ay makikita din natin sa first thermochemical equation at ito ay nasa reactant side na. Kaya naman, hindi na ito kailangang i-reverse dahil nasa reactant side na. Pero, kailangan natin na uh, i-multiply ang reactant products at change in enthalpy by 2 dahil ang nasa final equation natin ay 2 moles of N2O3. Ang ating thermochemical equation number 1 ay magiging 2 moles of N2O3 yields 2 moles of NO plus 2 moles of NO2. And then, uh, the change in enthalpy should also be multiplied by 2. Final um, reaction, makikita natin ang N2 na nasa product side. At makita natin sa thermochemical equation number 2 natin na ito ay nasa reactant side. So, kailangan natin itong i-reverse. So, kapag ni-reverse natin, ang ating magiging reactant ay NO, ang products naman ay N2 at ang O2. At kailangan din natin na uh, palitan ng sign ang change in enthalpy. Sa ating thermochemical equation number 3, ganun din. Uh, meron tayong N2 sa reactant side at ang N2 sabi natin sa ating final equation ay matatagpuan sa um, product side. So, kailangan din natin i-reverse ang thermochemical equation number 3. Ating na-reverse, um, na ang magiging reactants natin ay NO2 um, yields N2 plus O2. At ang change in enthalpy natin ay dapat naman natin gawing negative. Kailangan natin mag-isip ng number na pwede natin i-multiply sa, sa N2 at sa O2 para magkaroon tayo ng kaparehong number of moles with the final reaction. So, pwede natin i-multiply by a factor of 2 ang um, reactants and products para sa thermochemical equation number 2 at ganun din naman sa thermochemical equation number 3. Narito ang ating final thermochemical equations. Kung saan, sa una, sa thermochemical equation number 1, tayo ay nagmultiply by 2, pati sa ating change in enthalpy. Sa number 2 naman, tayo ay nagmultiply by a factor of 2 and then we reverse and then, sa number 3 naman ay ganun din. Nag-reverse at nag-multiply by a factor of uh, 2. So, now naman, pwede, nating, pwede na nating i-cancel yung mga uh, wala sa ating final reaction. So, ano yung mga wala sa ating final reaction? Wala dito ang um, NO. So, pwede na natin i-cancel ang NO. Wala rin dito ang... Um, NO2 So, pwede na rin natin i-cancel ang NO2 So, ano ang mga reactants and products na natira sa after natin mag-cancel? So, ang mga natira ay yung 2N 2O3 uh, para sa reactants at para naman sa products ay ang 2N2 at ang 3O2 para sa products After natin mag-cancel 
Pwede na natin kunin ang sum of enthalpy changes for the individual steps. So, uh, 79.4 kilojoules plus negative 180.8 kilojoules plus negative 67.6 kilojoules. And we'll come up with the change in enthalpy which is equal to negative 160.9 kilojoules. Example number 2. Determine the change in enthalpy for the reaction for NH3 plus 5O2 yields 4NO plus 6H2O from the following thermochemical equations. Lan natin sa pag-analyze ng final reaction at um, i-compare din natin sa mga steps 1 to 3 or the 3 thermochemical equations na mayroon tayo. So, sa ating uh, final reaction, uh, mayroon tayong 4 NH3. So, ang NH3 ay uh, nasa reactant side at makikita rin natin ang NH3 sa reactant sides for uh, step number 1 or thermochemical equation number 1. So, hindi na natin ito kailangang i-reverse pero ano ang dapat natin gawin? Kailangan natin itong i-multiply by 2. Pag may na-i-multiply natin ang 2 NH3 by 2 na nasa reactant side, i-multiply din natin ito sa ang 2 sa N2 at sa 3H2 at ganun din naman sa change in enthalpy. So, ang magiging um, answer natin or final equation natin para dito ay magiging 4 NH3 um, yields 2 N2 plus 6 H2 and the uh, enthalpy change will be equal to positive 184. Para naman sa pangalawang thermochemical equation, uh, makikita natin sa ating final reaction ang O2 na nasa reactant side. Samantalang sa ating uh, pangalawang equation, ay uh, ito ay nasa product side. So, anong kailangan natin gawin? Kailangan natin itong i-reverse. At ganun din, um, pagkatapos natin i-reverse, kailangan din natin itong i-multiply by what factor? Kailangan nating i-multiply by a factor of 3 ang um, reactance products and also the enthalpy change. So, ang magiging ating uh, sagot sa pangalawa ay 6H2 plus 3O2 yields 6H2O and ang ating uh, change in enthalpy will be negative 1,716 kasi minultiply natin sa 2 tapos ni-reverse kaya naging negative 1,716. Sa pangatlong thermochemical equation, makikita natin ang O2 na nasa uh, reactant side na. At ito ay nat nasa tamang side na. So, hindi na natin ito kailangang i-reverse. Ngunit, kailangan natin na i-multiply by 2 para maging pareho ng number of moles para sa ating final reaction. Magiging ating sagot sa thermochemical equation number 3 ay 2N2 plus 2O2 yields 4NO and the uh, enthalpy change will be negative one, um, 360 kasi na-multiply natin by 2. After that, um, i-cancel na natin yung mga hindi naman makikita sa ating final reaction. So, ano yung mga pwede natin i-cancel? So, pwede ka lang mag-cancel by the way kapag ka, ang... Um, Hinahanap mo ay isa na makikita sa reactant side at yung isa naman ay makikita sa product side. So, ang pwede natin i-cancel ay ang 6H2 at ganun din naman pwede natin i-cancel ang uh, 2N2. At kailangan natin i-add ang O2, 3 moles plus of O2 plus 2 moles of O2, kaya in the final reaction meron tayong 5O2 so tama yung ating uh, steps na ginawa and then, ang magiging answer natin ay kunin natin ang sum of the individual enthalpies ito ay positive 184 plus negative 1716 plus negative 360 and it is equal to negative 
thermochemical equation number 3 at naman sa naman sa ating thermochemical equation number 3 so ito naman ay ating H2O ay multiplied by 2 hindi na ito ay i-reverse 